Right. On to number nine. Number nine. We are given these two equations, 3x plus 4y equals negative 23, 2y minus x equals negative 19. And they want you to get the solution to the system of equations. We are given these answers, negative 5, negative 2, 3, negative 8, 4, negative 6, and 9, negative 6. With a system of equations, the ways we normally uh, solve them are either with substitution or elimination. Sometimes on an SAT question, again, we're talking about time, it might be advantageous to simply plug some numbers in and see if it works. If you're really fast with your math, eh, that, that might work for you. That might be a good option. It just, it just depends. It depends on you. However, I would say absolutely it's important to know how to do substitution and elimination because sometimes in the question section where they make you actually enter your answer, you know, you have to enter the answer in the little grid freehand and you're not given multiple choice. So it's good to know how to do this. One thing, a little test strategy, look at the answers over here. If you notice, two of these have the same y value of negative 6. So whichever way I do, substitution or elimination, I want to do it so that I solve for x, not y. Because if I solve for x, I already know my answer. I don't even have to solve for y for this particular test, particular test question. So that's just a little you know, a little strategy, save you a little bit of time. So I want to solve first for X. Here's one thing, if you'll notice that they were being a little tricky, normally when you're given these equations, the X's and the Y's are kind of lined up over each, each other. Here, they are not. We are given the X first here, but the X second there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to write them like that. So they are lined up and it makes it easier for me to see what I should do. Now I want to solve for X, which means I want to, I'm going to choose elimination. I want to eliminate the Y that will give me my X. So to eliminate the Y, I see I have four Y positive and then positive two Y. They need to cancel out so they can be eliminated. To make 2y into something that will cancel 4y, I'm going to make it a negative 4. To do that, I need to multiply this whole thing by negative 2. Okay, so negative 2 times negative x is 2x. Negative 2 times 2y is negative 4y. And negative 2 times negative 19 is positive 38. All right, and I'm going to rewrite the other equation right above it. I'm going to then add them together and then my y's, and that looks like an x, that's not, that's a y. The y's cancel out, 3x plus 2x is 5x, 4y minus 4y is nothing, and negative 2, 3, 23 <laughs> plus 38 is 15. I can then divide both sides by 5 and x equals 3. I now know my answer. It's 3 and negative 8. If you have the time, it is not a bad idea to actually plug these two numbers into here and see if they work or to simply use the x equals 3, plug it into one of these two equations and see if you get negative 8 for y. Again, I would only recommend doing that if you have the time, assuming that you did this math part pretty clearly, you can have confidence that knowing x equals 3, this is your answer.